Guess what? Guess what? It's my birthday. It, look at me, it's my birthday. What do you say on birthdays? What do you happy to you. Happy ha to you? I'm happy to you. Thank you! Thank you! That's the best birthday present ever! I'm happy to you! Thank you! I'm happy to you! Thank you, honey! I'm happy to you! Thank you! Can I have a kiss? Today, when this video goes up, it is my birthday and I am 25 years old. And I thought this would be fun to do a 25 facts about me. So I sent a message out to my family and a lot of them came back with some funny things that I forgot about um, as growing up. And then Jared helped me with a few and then I came up with some myself. So it is my birthday, happy birthday to me. And here are 25 facts about me. Fact number one is I had a lot of warts growing up and I would have them burned off. And I remember going to the doctor's office and they'd strap me down and I'd scream and they would even do a few on my eye. I don't know why I had a lot of warts, but I did. And I look at my hands and I usually don't think anything of it, but they just kind of look old to me, like just older hands. They don't look, just because there are so many scars on them. And I have one specific scar that I used to tell people I got shot with a BB gun because <laughs> it looks like a little like a hole. But I remember having them, I remember them bugging me a lot and eventually years, years went by and they finally were able to be removed and gone. Number two, in the fourth grade, I stole candy bars from my teacher and the kind of candy bars they were, it, it was called Zero. And I remember I stole them and I ate them and it was the grossest candy bar I had ever had. And I remember in my little mind, I thought, these are gross and that's my punishment because I stole them. <laughs> Number three is my inner animal is a hyena. And this is a definitely an inside joke with my family. But when I was little, like eight, <laughs> maybe even older, I would get out of the bathtub and I'd be naked and I would run as fast as I could down the hall. like on my hands and knees. And I'd run and I'd run and I'd run and I would jump up and I would see a big mirror and I would try and fit my whole body into the mirror. Like I would I would try and make it so I could see my whole body. So I'd, I'd jump up like that and I would try and make sure I could see, my, like I would scrunch up and I guess I looked like a hyena. I was this little like eight year old skinny, skinny, bonely little thing and I would run and try and that's, that's what I would do. So my family, they think that I'm a hyena. Number four, my first kiss was in junior high and his name was Josh. Number five, I tried to come up with how many people I kissed and it was too many. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I loved to kiss. As many people as I could kiss, I would kiss. Number six, my favorite actor is Christian Bell. I think he is an amazing actor. <laughs> Number seven, in order to graduate high school, I had to take summer school for math. I was awful at math. Half of it could be I just didn't care about math and the other half could be because I always went I always went to lunch and I would drive down and eat lunch with a boy and I would always skip my next class which was math class so several reasons why I kept failing math I don't recommend that by the way just study and just pass <laughs> number eight this is definitely personal for me um is I'm not good at math, but I am good with numbers with money. I have never been in debt. Debt, I think, is very scary to me, and I'm grateful that I have never had to have that, and I always try and live within my means, and I always try and um, put extra money away towards my kids and for retirement. Number nine is I love work. I love pulling weeds. I love cleaning. I love cleaning. I love organizing. I love seeing a positive change. I, I love getting ready and doing my makeup. I think that it's therapeutic. I think that it's fun to see my beautiful self, but then just freshen up and it makes me feel that much better, a positive change. I just, I love work. I love having a list. I, I make lists all the time and I love getting the work done and crossing it off, cleaning the car, doing the dishes, getting the kids' nails and ears cleaned out. Like I just, I love, writing things down and getting it done. Number 10, my absolute favorite thing as a child was raising chickens. My mom grew up on a farm and I always was jealous. I always wanted that. I cried when we were not gonna move growing up 
because my mom said if we moved we were going to get cows and I just bawled because that's I just wanted that so bad but I had chickens I loved it I clipped their wings I took care of them I hand fed one of them when the when his little leg broke um, I just I I took it seriously I would clean out the coop once a week I loved work I loved you know crossing things off and one time Julie put the grass clippings in the coop and I was so mad I was so mad because I had worked so hard to like clean it up and I chased her around with uh, with like a shovel or something and I swore at her I was so mad I swore and she ran inside and told mom that I swore and I could have I knew mom was gonna get mad at me but she turned around and got mad at Julie and she's like you leave Ellie and her chicken coop alone she's worked too hard you you leave her alone and I was like yeah <laughs> so that was my favorite thing growing up was raising my chickens and I plan on getting them in the future I just talked about how much I love work and my next one is I got fired <laughs> I worked at a country store IFA and long long story I think they just were looking for any excuse to get rid of me because I would go there and like I loved the boys in the back. I would go back there and us warehouse kids would play and goof around and I know that was so bad, but eventually they let me go. So I got fired from IFA. <laughs> Number 12, I parked my car once and I went to go find it and I couldn't find it. And I could have sworn that somebody stole my 1994 Corolla. Somebody stole it. And I called mom and dad and I was so upset and they came down, tried to help me find it. I ended up going to work. They continued to look for the car. Come to find out, I just parked it in a different parking lot. Different parking lot, that's all. It didn't get stolen. Number 13, I worked at the Fars Ice Cream Shop in Ogden. It was a hopping place. It is a hopping place. And my goal was to give out my number at least once during my shift. I gave out my number to so many people and vice versa, people asked me out a lot. It was such a fun place to work. Hashtag free dinners, hashtag best dates ever, hashtag more kissing. Well, working at FARS, my favorite and last kiss, the person I love kissing the most, Jared, he came into the FARS ice cream shop singing to me and singing to oh, everybody else. It was beautiful. Kiss. One of my favorite so moments. No more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Mm. Oh. Number 15, my dad told me to back up the car and put it behind the third car garage and I really wanted to do a good job. I remember thinking I'm going to do a really good straight job so he's like really impressed. I ran the car into the garage and I knew, I knew that dad was going to just, I was, I, I was going to lose everything I've ever owned and come to find out mom was the mad one <laughs> and dad was just like, oh, L. I remember his face still. He went, what happened? Like, oh, how did you do that? <laughs> Number 17, I drove the Suburban a lot in high school and high school parking lots are full of cars. You can barely park full of kids. And I, I drove the Suburban, it was snowing and icy. I don't know how this happened. These, I don't even, I didn't even tell my parents. The, the Suburban did a full 360 in the parking lot and it, it literally was angels. I don't know how else I did not hit another car or another person. There were kids, there, it, kids were everywhere. Kids were everywhere. I don't know how I did it. When the car stopped, I remember like, did that just happen? And I made eye contact, I remember his name, Chad. I made eye contact with him. He was walking into the school and he went. And I was just like, I don't know how that happened. So to this day, I think about that. That totally had to have been angels to make me not hit another person and hit another car. 18, I feel like my day is complete and I feel like I had a successful day when the kids are bathed, their ears are clean, and their nails are clipped. Number 19, I was the only one to get married right out of high school, but Ruby, the oldest, is a close second. We both got married at 18, but I was the one out of the family that got, that got married the soonest. This is true. Number 20, two airplanes have crashed into my neighborhood growing up. Two airplanes have crashed into my neighborhood growing up, across the street and down the road. Two airplanes. Um, one of the times I was in Alaska that it happened, I came home and it had happened the day before, and then the next time it 
crashed, it was just a few years ago, my dad was barefoot, it crashed, and he didn't even think. He just, he ran outside, he ran across the street barefoot, he helped the pilots get out of the plane, the pilots laid on our front yard while the ambulance and cops and news and everyone came, it was pretty intense. Number 21, Jared and I both take turns for sure, we balance each other out really well, but I would have to say I am more of the reserved parent. If the kids are playing on rocks or play, like jumping on the couch or running around, I am more of the one to be like, they're okay, like just let them play. And he is more of the one to be like, oh, be careful, oh, get down, Can't, don't do that. Um, like I said, we balance each other out really well, but I probably am more of the reserved one when it comes to that. Number 23, one of my favorite things to do is to go outside at night and look at the stars. I love camping, I love the quietness. I love hearing the crickets, I love the darkness, and seeing the bright stars. Number 24, I don't like to be on time to things, I like to be early. I get really flustered if I'm not early to things that I'm supposed to be on time at. The very last one, number 25, is when Jared and I very first got married, I made our first roast and it, I fried it. I burnt it, it was awful, and I was so mad. I think I was mad because I was so hungry and it sounded good and I wanted it to taste just like mom's and I went berserk. I swore, I yelled, it was awful and I'm pretty sure that Jared probably thought, what did I just get myself into? Like, she's so mad about the roast. We ended up going to like Taco Bell on Sunday because I was like, I made the roast and I ruined it. But. That is my 25 facts about me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for all the happy birthday wishes, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.